some of you guys I know. A bug just flew right into my eye. Hey guys, what's up? It's Kelly again. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and I've got some pretty crazy news for you guys. I moved again. I moved from Germany to Washington DC. I was offered the opportunity to attend a graduate degree program at George Washington University, which is here in DC, and I took it. It was an incredibly difficult decision for me to make because I loved living in Germany so much and I didn't want to cut that experience short. But I decided that education is invaluable and while I might have the opportunity to live in Germany again in the future, I don't think I'll ever have the opportunity to attend a graduate degree program at this school ever again. Leaving Germany was like an emotional roller coaster for me and I'm actually still on that emotional roller coaster as I adapt to my new life here in DC, which is such a massive city and I've never lived here before. And really just getting used to living in the States again and I know that might sound a little crazy because the US is my home country but after being gone for so long there are some things that I'm having to get used to again there were a ton of things that I missed about living in the US but now there are a lot of things I miss about living in Germany so I thought that it would be cool if I made a video talking about five things I miss about living in Germany and five things I missed about living in the US and I'm gonna do that while walking around my new neighborhoods so you can see a little bit about what my life is like now so first up for Germany is the Autobahn. I really miss driving on the Autobahn and I'm not even talking about the speed limitless part of the Autobahn, but just the, the pure maintenance of it. And I'll get to that in a second. But first, let me just say, it took a while for me to get used to driving here, like a little longer than I thought because like the laws are very different and driving habits are very, very different. And uh, like I was driving along and I saw a speed limit sign that said 40 and I looked down at my speedometer and I was going 70 and I freaked out and I quickly slowed down to 40. I was like, oh my God, I was going twice the speed limit. And then all these cars are like passing me and I'm just like, you guys are gutsy, like going this fast. Maybe these are all locals and they know that there are no cops on this road. like. And then I realized I was looking at the kilometer per hour part of my speedometer, not the miles per hour part, which is a little funny. The kilometer per hour part is actually really tiny numbers. And I've adapted to looking at the tiny numbers while I was in Germany. And now I'm having to get used to looking at the big numbers. So instead of going twice over the speed limit, I was actually now going half the speed limit and everybody hated me. Anyway, back to the Autobahn. So it's just like nice, smooth, well-maintained roads. Since I've been back here, I've driven in Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and the highways are atrocious. There are potholes on the highways. I mean, it's not like every, you know, constant potholes, but one is more than you should ever have on a highway where cars are careening down going 65 miles per hour like this is insane to me there were massive cracks that were just like covered up with crappy tar and like how is this a thing and i don't know if i just didn't notice it before or if i was so used to seeing it that i wasn't even seeing it anymore uh, or if I just didn't remember it, but it is like shocking to me how horribly maintained our highways are. So I really, really miss driving on the Autobahn, nice, smooth, well-maintained roads. The next thing I really miss about living in Germany is the bread. I've talked about this in one of my other videos, but I don't think I could talk about it enough. The bread in Germany is amazing it is so good it's better than the bread that i eat in my dreams i don't know if anybody else is dream eating but i'm like chowing down on some food in my dreams and even my imaginary self-fabricated bread in my dreams doesn't even compare to the bread that's in germany i love it and the bread here just does not it doesn't compare it's it's basically like 
I don't know, like watching HD quality TV for a year and a half and then going back down to standard definition, like it does the job. Like this is a sandwich, but you just know that there's so much better out there and it just like leaves you dissatisfied. And I mean, really, I just miss the German bakeries period and not just because of the bread, but the sandwiches. The sandwiches at German bakeries, guys, it's so good. Like you can just go into any bakery, choose any sandwich. It's like a couple euro and know that you're gonna eat something good. And the sandwiches here are just not, they're not good. They're not, I don't wanna eat them. Another thing I really miss about living in Germany is how cheap and easy travel is. I will say that I think there's a lot of underrated value in traveling in the US. But where I was living in Germany, which was close to Frankfurt, I could get to entirely different countries so easily, not just different states, different countries. Within just one day of driving, I could get to countries like Belgium, the Netherlands, France, Liechtenstein, Switzerland, Italy, Luxembourg. I could get to Poland, Czechia, Austria, I could get to all of these countries just by driving to them. And then I could take a plane out of Frankfurt airport to get like anywhere else. I lived in Germany for 18 months. And within those 18 months, I traveled to 25 different countries. And that's not me bragging. That's me trying to show you how easy it is to travel across Europe. People in the US will go their entire lives without getting to 25 different states because it's considerably more difficult. Just driving distance and then our plane tickets are so much more expensive. I don't understand. We don't have a Ryanair. Our equivalent is Spirit Airlines. And if you've ever flown on Spirit Airlines, then my sympathies because I know what you went through and it was not fun. Another thing that I really miss about living in Germany are the bike paths and just like the overall bike friendly atmosphere. I bought a road bike back when I lived in Texas years ago and I rode it in a very limited capacity and always with the fear of death lurking in the back of my mind because a lot of drivers here just don't know how to deal with bicyclists or they look at bicyclists as being like a personal hindrance on their lives and it makes it really really dangerous to ride a bike in the US. I actually almost got rid of that bike because of how dangerous it was and that I didn't feel safe riding it. But I'm so glad I didn't because I ended up taking that bike with me to Germany and I really got to use it. I rode my bike to work like every single day. I did some excursions with a few friends on my bike. I really just loved it. In Washington DC, there are some bike lanes, which is actually kind of rare in the US. There are bike lanes, but they kind of like appear and disappear without any rhyme or reason. And there are no signs like directing bicyclists on where to go or what to do. And coming from Germany where bicyclists were like heavily regulated, there were always signs telling you where to go, where you couldn't go, what speed you should be riding at. It's kind of like mentally overwhelming for me to have this like perceived liberty, but I actually just like, I end up not feeling safe riding my bike because I don't know if I should be here. For one last thing that I miss about living in Germany, and guys, these are not the only five things that I miss about living in there. Trust me, there are so many more. But for the purpose of this video, one last thing I miss about living in Germany, it's the hookah bars. This probably won't mean anything to some of you, but I love me some hookah, sheesh, nargle, whatever you want to call it. And I'm well aware that it is not the healthiest hobby, but I got really into it when I lived in Turkey and I was so excited to see how many hookah bars there were in Mainz, which is where I lived in Germany. And it's probably because of their massive Turkish immigrant population. And it was awesome to just be able to go around the corner and enjoy a nice night of smoking hookah with some friends. So on to things that I missed about living in the US. Obviously, the number one thing I miss about living in the US is my family. Guys, I only have one sister and then two parents, so there's only four of us. 
and we haven't lived in the same time zone, let alone the same country, in over 13 years. 13 years! That is a massively long amount of time. And it was really exciting when I got the news that I would be moving back to the East Coast because we'd be able to call each other during normal, sane hours. And I would be able to visit them. And I already got to visit them. I got to visit my parents. They had gotten a dog I hadn't met yet. They took me to a bunch of brew pubs that had opened up in my hometown I'd never seen before. And I got to visit my sister. My sister has four kids, you guys. And she's a working mom. And I had never even gotten to meet the two youngest kids. So it was awesome to finally get to meet them, see how they all interact with each other. It was so cool. And then like Tristan, her oldest son, taught me how to use a baseball mitt. I've never used one before. And then he would promptly heckle me every single time I dropped a catch. Her oldest daughter, Pippa, she like is so cute. And I got to put her hair up every morning before she went to this daycare school thing, which was really cool. And I just realized how much I had been missing out on. Another thing that I really missed about living in the US is seafood. Where I lived in Germany, again, near Frankfurt, so like the southwest side of Germany, there wasn't really any seafood. I mean, yeah, there was like fish and shrimp and some really good sushi places, but there were no like mussels and clams and oysters and my favorite, crab legs. I couldn't find any of this stuff, guys, and I missed it so much. And sure, you can't find seafood easily everywhere in the U.S., like the Midwest, for example. You're not really going to find seafood that easily. But I moved to Germany from Washington State, which is a huge seafood area, and now I'm living in D.C., which also has a huge seafood culture. So I'm just really excited to be back somewhere where you see crab legs and oysters for sale at the grocery store and you see entire restaurants dedicated to seafood you see seafood dishes on the menus of other restaurants it's just really exciting and speaking of restaurants another thing i really miss about living in the u.s is the free water at restaurants all oh, the free water, I missed it so much. In Germany, I was paying like six euro for a bottle of water with a meal, which really adds up. But here, the water is free, whether it's carbonated or still, it's free water. And that really, really counts in a city like DC, where the prices on menus, guys, it actually made my eyes like glaze over with how expensive food is here. Well, everything is here, but definitely food. So it's really nice to have that free water again. Another thing I really miss about living in the US is being able to pay for things electronically. Whether it's like an Uber, putting money on your Metro card, going to the nail salon, going to some back alley coffee shop, whatever restaurant, a food truck, it doesn't matter. They're gonna take either credit card or debit card. And a lot of places even take Apple Pay, guys. They'll even take Apple Pay. In Germany, I was constantly having to go to the ATM because I don't like carrying huge amounts of cash on me. And you were always having to go to the ATM to get cash out because a lot of places just don't accept cards. And they definitely, I never saw a single place that had Apple Pay. Maybe that was just me not paying attention, but I never saw it. It's just really liberating to be able to go somewhere and not have to think like, oh my gosh, do I have enough cash on me to be able to pay for this manicure or this cup of coffee? One last thing that I really miss about living in the U.S. is how outgoing people are here. I'll walk down the street and people will be smiling at me. They'll be saying hi, asking how I'm doing, asking if I'm enjoying my weekend. They're wishing me a good weekend, wishing me a good day, have a good night, whatever it is. And I really love these just little interactions that might seem insignificant, but they make me really happy. So I really miss this part of American culture. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and getting to see a little bit of my neighborhood. And a special thanks to all of my Kelly's Crew patrons. Guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. 
If you're interested in my Patreon campaign or want to become one of my patrons, check out the link. I'll put it in the description below. You'll get access to exclusive content and get to find out more about me. I'm going to go find some coffee somewhere because I got up at 5 in the morning to film this video. So yeah, that's how much I love you guys. Bye.